and friends. So today I would like to um, demonstrate an experiment to, uh, to de determine the specific latent heat of vaporization. Okay. As we see, uh, I have a kettle over here. So uh, the power is one for uh, 1,480 and the time um, that we're going to make this heating uh, take the time for two minutes. Okay, now uh, I have a stopwatch. So have, it has to boil first. We have to make the um, vaporize first, so we can start with uh, the counting. Uh, okay, it's already um, boiling, so we can start now. Okay. So it was 1,610 when I took when I took it. 1620 so um, this way um, um, I covered up this, uh, this scale with um, like this transparent uh, sheet so the water that can, um, that is condensed uh, after vaporize uh, will not um, affect the scale. I mean, uh, effect the uh, skill so it doesn't break down. Okay, as you can see, the 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 weight, the mass is decreasing. Okay, we have another minute to go. Water vapor has a really high uh, specific um, uh, specific heat capacity. Okay, Thirty minutes ago, um, so five. Okay, um, the coding is uh, 1,541 at 2 minutes. So, um, that's how we take the calculation. And now, uh, this is the calculation that I got before. So, um, when, um, the power of the heater is uh, 1,480. Time of heating is 2 minutes times by 60 seconds. Uh, mass of kettle and water boiling before becoming gas, uh, 1740 uh, uh, or 1.74 kilograms. Mass of kettle and water boiling after, after becoming gas, 1.659. So the mass of water that became gas is 0 0.81. So I plug it into this formula. Um, so what I got is. 2.19 uh, times 10 uh, uh, power of 5. So the actual value is 2.26, but um, the value that I got is less because um, maybe some of the water that condensed after being vaporized um, drip, uh, drip onto the uh, plastic sheet. So there's an error on, um, on that. So the weight uh, became heavier. Um, uh, that's all for me. Thank you.